the Royal Botanic Gardens queue, and this is the front gate at queue. This is the front gate queue, and there we go. There's our group. And we're going. So here we are at Kew Gardens and the Rose Garden. And as I pan around here, you're going to see the roses and then the beautiful palm house, which are about to go inside and have a look. Palm house at Kew Gardens. Here's the rose garden. Well, part of it, part of the rose garden. More rose garden and we come around here. And Capability Brown created this, one of many vistas at uh, Kew Gardens. Here is the uh, Allium Garden. There's thousands of Allium and it's right in front of the Palm House. Okay, we're now at the Princess of Wales Conservatory at Kew Gardens. Okay, at Kew Gardens there's several old trees planted in the 1700s called lion trees. And this is one, I don't know the name of it right now, but I will get the name of it. And it was originally a brick structure was made to hold it up. And then subsequently, as it got older and older and older, I mean, this tree is seven, 1700s it was planted, older and older and older, and they had to put all these different metal supports in to hold it up. Very fascinating. 1700s it was planted, and here's the sign right here. This is another one of the old trees planted in the 1700s, uh, maybe even the 1600s at Kew Gardens. And there it is, beautiful, beautiful. Years ago, before they had Sorry. greenhouses and whatnot, they had what they call an orangery. And in the winter time, they would keep their plants in here. And these doors, these windows allowed the lights to come in and uh, the light, sunlight come in in the winter time and they keep oranges and other tropical citrus and things like that in these things and uh, now it's uh, tur turned, in, turned it into a beautiful restaurant inside there and it's uh, very good, very nice. This is at Kew Gardens. Okay, here we are at one of the star attractions of Kew Botanic Gardens. This is the castle of King George III. He's the king that lost the Americas. He's the king that went a little bit crazy three or four times in his life. And they hold him up in this castle for a while, palace I should say. Uh, but he also lived in here. He came down the Thames to, uh, to live here. And the Thames River runs right behind it. And so that's how they got to this palace. But it's, it's one of the beautiful buildings at Kew, built in the uh, 1600s. And here's the beautiful pruned boxwood and, uh, and uh, other lawn area. Beautiful. It's beautiful. This is a ficus, a fig, edible fig, trained to uh, espaliate against the wall of this old building here. And this is in Kew Gardens. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. This is the garden in behind the palace, King George's Palace at Kew, mm -hmm. with the boxwood hedges and lavenders. Yeah inside is beautiful 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 at the royal botanic gardens queue there is the big large palm house that was built years and years ago in the 1800s <clears throat> and uh i'm just panning around because there was a, 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 a big furnace in the basement of the palm house and the chimney went underground right across the grounds the flue that took the smoke away from the furnace and along here there's the chimney that's the chimney taking the fumes away from the from the uh, furnace in the palm house to keep it warm back in the 1800s 